Hi there, I'm Matthew Levin. I'm a sculptor. Uh, I live in Burbank and um, I made this. Um, I guess I normally try to avoid going into too much depth of describing what I make because people seem to enjoy coming up with their own ideas of what it is and what it means to them and that's always more special than than anything that that I could explain but I guess that being said I'll, I'll go ahead and ruin that to an extent by by saying that it's to me uh, a lot of the time it's about um, the relationship between between grace and beauty and um, and the grotesque and and what what people allow themselves to consider beautiful or ugly I guess my process is different based on what the project is going to be if I'm doing something that's a commission then um, normally whoever is asking me to make the piece has a, a fairly specific idea in mind already and so um, so that'll involve lots of, of concept work as far as sketching goes and research and things like that. But if I'm just making something purely for my own enjoyment, a lot of the time I'll do just a, a very quick gesture pencil sketch to give me just enough visual information that I know how to make the, the armature. Um, because with, <clears throat> with sculpture, there, you know, the, the clay has weight to it and if I don't have some sort of some sort of skeleton underneath it the whole thing will just fall apart so so yeah the sketch has just enough visual information to tell me what that skeleton needs to be and then from there I uh, I make the armature and start putting on the clay and all of the creative process from there happens in the clay There, there, there's kind of a story. I mean, it's more, it's more of an idea or, or a sense that I wanted to convey of um, the idea of someone who is kind of, to an extent, powerless and at the mercy of forces beyond their control, finding a way to, like, maintain dignity and grace and beauty through that experience and and that's you know the the, the no arms as like a, a lack of ability to to have a you know a immediate control over over the situation that you're in I also offer classes um, to, to teach people how to sculpt and um, I always make sure that the class sizes are very small so that they're good for any, anyone who's a beginner or a more advanced student. So there's lots of time for individual one-on-one -on -one, uh, attention. And I teach every, every aspect of the process that, um, that I use um, to try to just spread the knowledge and, and get everybody creating. Is I think I, you know, I'm lucky enough um, here in LA with the work that I do to be in a situation where most of my favorite artists are are now my friends and my colleagues, and I get to spend time with them all the time, and and I feel really lucky because of that. <laughs>